We all know that an electron, when it starts to move, has an electric charge associated. But when we move an electric charge, the electric field associated also moves and it radiates what we call the electromagnetic field. And that's one of the bases for communications. Here we have a sinusoid. We can think of that sinusoid as a carrier which means that it's like the frequency of a radio station. And I'll show that as a next example. Now this simulation that I use can be uh, downloaded from fet.colorado.edu and the title of this is Radiating Charges. Next demo is how a communication system works. And basically you have an antenna, here's our transmitter with a radio station of KFET and here is our receiver. As I wiggle this electron we could see that it creates movement in the receiver. Now what I'll do is I'll show the electric field associated with that charge and as I move that charge that electric field changes. And as the electric field changes it creates movement on this uh, receiver on the electrons on the receiving antenna. So let me uh, click some positions of the electrons and you can see that and I'm just going to oscillate it so you can see the movement. You can see the electric field. I'm going to draw a curve with vectors so you can see the vector, the strength of the field and you can see it starts to decrease as it goes from point A, the transmitter to point B the receiver. Here's our full electric field. And you can see the electric field is affected by the amount of movement due to this electron. So you can see here we have the transmitter. We also have in between the transmitter and receiver is obviously the atmosphere but we also call that a channel. So a piece of wire, a fiber optic, is also referred to the channel in terms of how that wave is propagating in that medium. Now when the wave trans uh, travels between the transmitter and receiver, it travels at the speed of light. So this is the basics of a communication system.